Welcome to Unnecessary Computer Things. Today we're going to be booting Manjaro Linux on the 2012 MacBook Air. So first of all, we're going to turn it on. And currently the state of the Mac is that it is ready to uh, install or set up uh, Mac OS Catalina, that, which is the latest version of Mac OS that works for this specific uh, 2012 MacBook Air. So you can see, first first prompt that's going to come up here is it's actually going to have a selective country. So now we're going to actually turn this off. I called long press, the power button, and then Hold down Option and the power button at the same time, and hold down Option to the boot until you get a selection here. Now, I have a USB stick plugged in down there, and it's marked EFI boot here. So I'm going to select this. This has Linjaro Linux Live Boot. Got some errors on this. Uh, so uh, I tweaked a couple things. I don't, I think this boots fine, but I switch over to non free. And then uh, the time zone doesn't have my time zone anyway. So let's go ahead and boot. And you'll see the typical Linux loading screen in a second here. One more. There we go. So Linux is booting up. As you can see it's relatively fast for a boot. Okay, so now now I'm going to actually connect to Wi-Fi, which this is one of the main reasons why, like, um, Ubuntu actually works fairly well as well, but you can't really just straight up boot from a live CD with uh, with Ubuntu, but Mancharo seems to work fairly well with this. So I'll just go out to the internet and obviously uh, let's go to YouTube. And we've loaded. So that's that. Uh, you can actually you can actually add software and stuff from the slide boot. Uh, obviously, if you want to do much more with it, you probably want to uh, actually install it to the uh, drive that's actually on there. But for this demonstration, I just will show you. You can hold down Option and Power with uh, Manjaro Live USB plugged in, and you can actually select it and boot it. So it's fairly it's fairly responsive. Gives a little bit less. Uh, has a little bit less weight. This is the XFCE version of Manjaro Linux, so it, the window manager is actually somewhat light as well. Uh, but it works fairly well. Um, if you're uh, if you have a 2012 Mac or older uh, that no longer is getting the Mac OS updates, uh, you, you're stuck at Catalina or older. 
um, this is probably a good option to extend your life. This is a 4 gig, 128 gig system. So it works pretty well there. Um, I, ha I will link to a blog post that I had that actually describes booting and installing Manjaro Linux on a 2009 MacBook Pro uh, definitely helped extend the life there because the, I think it was stuck on uh, not Mavericks, a little bit after Mavericks. So, uh, and definitely couldn't run much, but when you, when you're running Manjaro Linux, at least you have, you have a lightweight window manager and you're still getting fairly regular updates uh, if you actually install it. I mean, this is, this is an up-to-date uh, Mozilla browser, at least as up-to-date as of the live CD that I have plugged in here. The, the live CD is about a year old at this point. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.